Come back to Hat Shelf. Today we're going to read you another one of these classic pieces. Today we've got a stool. I'm sure you've all got one of these in your houses. One of these uh, 2009 Circa No Luzier specialty foot stools. We're going to be turning it into an axe slash hatchet holding rack. So hang on to your hats. First we're going to take it apart just like last time. Regular Phillips. Okay, first piece is right there. Three nuts. I'm not really going to count as a. Uh, uh, we got a top piece part now. We just got this H shape uh, screwed together. I am really tempted to just leave this. Just leave it the way it is. Make that the, that's the base of the, the, the stand. Just like that. For example, you take this here. Lay them like that, and bam, you got your, you got your axe. Really tempting, but I feel like I can hold two things. I just recess the one. I'm gonna cut this here. Move this back to be so the bottom of this half circle is flat against this H connect here. Slide it against. You can put one thing in here and another one out over top like that. Is what I'm thinking. Alright, I figured it out. Uh, this needs to be slimmer. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to damn the screws. What speed ahead? 
motherfucker. Hmm. That's pretty loud. Not gonna lie. Just a little bit of a uh, give there. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and just see if I can basically flex it off. Okay, unfortunately, the screws are still in the part that I care the most about. That's not fantastic. I will see if we can pound this out in a second. Let's get this piece off. Alright, let's see if we're taking part of one of the screws here and another part of the other one. Great. That one's almost clean on the Not clean. I'm gonna pound these out. See if I can get the screws off and then <coughs> we'll start. They got those out pretty easy. Just twist it back and forth. Ah, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these two pieces down to size at a diagonal. Um, actually, not at a diagonal. Uh, scratch that. Go like that. Cut this piece off where it broke. And we'll get started putting this thing back together. Stamped. Cut a piece of the top off. Uh, I'm just pulled the pieces off the edge of it. At the very bottom of the feet here, they're going to sit like this and like that. It's going to be upright. The axe is going to go in like this. 
I think that's pretty much going to be it. Just going to drill some holes in here, nails into the wall like that. I'll be done. Got these two big pieces like this. Um, don't know what else to do with them. Going to keep them in the scrap pile. Pretty excited to see what those turn into eventually. Obviously got the two side pieces, also scrap. The rest of this from the middle that um, I thought I was going to use, but ended up not. Don't know. Let's put this together.
Alright, and just like that, we've got a miniaturized version of the original stool. Um, now specialized for hanging on the wall. Just like that. No problem at all. Easy money. I'm going to clamp these down, hold them in place so that the glue dries, and we're going to come back and whittle the sides down, make it all nice, sand it down, finish it, possibly do a little bit of carving or uh, wood burning. I'm not sure yet, so hang tight. So I've got my little table done here. Structure all things in. I've got the holes in here for the nails, and after that, I'm hoping to pop these uh, little wood caps back in spot, back into place here. So hopefully that's sort of what it's going to look like. Hopefully it's going to look more like that than anything else. I think that'll be a good callback. And I'll just kind of just do a little design here. Uh, and then finish the whole thing. So, semi-transparent deck and siding stain, because I didn't try that last time, and it sounds interesting. Got that all looking nice. Let's finish now, and we're totally done after that.
I was looking really good. So let's just get it dry. Come back in uh, half an hour, maybe do another coat. And then uh, shoot some pictures, maybe put it up. 